सो आई थिंक वी आर लाइव ना हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू बैंक एग्जाम सो दिस इज़ द फर्स्ट फ्री लाइव सेशन फॉर से बी ग्रेड ए ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी एग्जाम एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द कॉस्ट अकाउंटिंग आई एम गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड फाइव इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम कॉस्ट अकाउंटिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द से बी ग्रेड ए एग्जाम द आई हैव स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम कॉस्ट अकाउंटिंग ओनली रेस्ट ऑफ द सेक्शन इन दैट प्रोफेशनल नॉलेज लाइक इन द पेपर टू द मैनेजमेंट फाइनेंस इकोनॉमिक्स and even the company law is already available in the course and even the cost accounting was not available i started that so you can join uh, that sebi grade a 2020 course on bank exams dot com anyways uh the batch costing is suitable for which industry first of all you should know what is batch costing you should know what are the various types uh, you know uh, these terms you should be aware about these terms what is batch costing first of all then you can say uh, it's suitable for which industry batch costing is the aggregate cost relating to a cost unit which consists of a group or similar articles uh you might have purchased uh, you know in the pharmaceutical industry specifically or in that uh, you know packaged food the batch number is written what does that mean the products are produced in batches okay the products are produced in batches the articles in a uh, in one batch are similar right so uh in the batch costing you you know the uh, cost of producing one batch right and uh, the cost of producing a batch divided by number of units produced in that batch the, that's how you can calculate per unit cost so that is batch costing right you you find out the cost of the whole batch in the pharmaceutical industry uh, you might have noticed a batch uh, is given right that batch costing is used in the pharmaceutical industry or that packaged food industry specifically it is not used in telecom petroleum refining or the sugar industry so mostly it is used in the telecom industry i am assuming that in the sugar industry most of the time it's uh, it's no it's not telecom industry sorry it is pharma industry so that is the correct answer it is not telecom it is not sugar it is not petroleum refining okay so in the sugar industry uh, i am assuming that sugar is it is loose sugar that you find out in the normal karana stores the general stores right so it is not packaged sugar okay so the correct answer is the pharma industry you can find out the batch numbers okay so let's uh, if if there is any doubt in your mind you can anyways you can ask your doubts any time okay happy holy everybody uh, i'll write uh, i have already i wrote the my review on uh, indian bank so uh, you can read my review on bankexamstudy.com i already uploaded my review i wrote that review i didn't find the time to make a video for that review maybe tomorrow i'll do that i shared that expected cut off theek hai ha uh, i'll make a view, uh, video on uh, indian bank don't worry right now i'm doing a sebi grade okay so batch costing explain depreciation is a example of what what is uh, what is first of all what is a fixed cost what is a variable cost students you started a factory to produce a uh, pens ball pens right you need to buy the machinery right you need to buy uh, you need to i mean either you need to rent a, a plant or you need to buy a plant right so in the beginning the setup cost there is some setup cost for the business that is fixed cost so that is cost on y axis there is cost on x axis the number of units you produce number of units number of units produced or sold right so no matter what how many units uh, up to a certain limit the limit of your plant is to produce 10000 uh, units so up to 10000 units the there is a fixed cost rent or depreciation it would be fixed right and then there will be variable cost uh, on per unit of ball pen you need to spend some plastic uh, you need to buy the plastic there is labor that is per unit okay so that is the difference between a fixed cost and variable cost fixed cost uh, the depreciation you bought a machinery okay and there will be depreciation on that machinery whether or not you are producing uh, anything on whether you are producing 10000 unit or 5000 unit 2000 unit or you are not producing anything there will be depreciation on that on that machinery so depreciation is a fixed cost okay 
so dash cost are historical which are incurred in the past which kind of cost are historical and that are incurred in the past so uh, sunk cost are sunk cost sunk cost is historical and it is a kind of cost which has already been incurred and which cannot be recovered sunk cost it is gone sunk means gone okay so which best describes describe the cost unit applicable to the bicycle industry what is cost unit cost unit is a device for for the purpose of breaking up or separating the cost okay to calculate so for automobile it is number of vehicles for cement the ton of cement you produce right for hospital the patient days hotel it is bed nights okay to calculate your cost you break up the cost okay so for bicycle industry it is per bicycle produced so now match the following very important match the following and tell me the correct answer historical cost is a sunk cost which has already been done historical means already been done it is sunk opportunity cost the opportunity cost is the value of alternative foregone of uh, the opportunity cost so uh, instead of choosing a instead of choosing a you chose b how much money you lost there that is opportunity cost then what is relevant cost uh, relevant cost that is a cost in a specific situation you decided yes i want to do this i want to do this project so that is relevant cost cost unit for education give me the correct answer so that is cost unit for, for unit for education is student year so please read this cost unit for education it is student per year okay from this one and the notional cost what is notional cost that is an imputed cost what is notional notional cost you own a building right you own a building i mean for example i have a office at a prime location in that ludhiana let's say i don't have this prime location i don't need it but just because i own it i kept my office there i i'm losing money on that because i could rent that uh, location to some showroom or something but i'm losing that money so that is notional cost not notional cost is not expressed in financial statements but it is still there are you getting it that is notional cost so that's all for today students i have already started the sebi grade 2020 course in which i am providing the video classes for both phases i am providing video classes for both phases and uh, then it is based on the latest syllabus and i am providing the test series for both phases phase 1 and phase 2 and the notes are available in the downloadable in the print friendly study material uh, in the print friendly um, uh, you know format it is available descriptive paper uh, evaluation service is also included uh, we have got nine final selection in sebi grade 8 2018 out of 47 students and you can join us on bankexamstudy.com the link is available in the description this is the list of students who crack the sebi grade a uh, in 2018 ibb uh, srrb wealth management bank of baroda wealth management uh, nabard grade a rbi grade b all these students they crack that exams using our study material for indian bank so uh, exam analysis i'll be doing tomorrow at 11 p uh, am please get back here at 11 am if you need the indian bank so exam analysis a lot of students are asking in the super chat i'll be doing that tomorrow okay tomorrow at 11 am so that's all for today uh, the syllabus is huge for sebi grade a but uh, i have decided that i'll be completing the whole syllabus within one month i am promising you that i'm going to complete the syllabus and yes you can do this if you are already preparing for ibps po ibps clerk such uh, for such exam if you are a chartered accountant company secretary or you have done mba you have already done all these subjects even if you are an engineer you are preparing for ibps po ibps so marketing you can apply for this exam and it is not difficult at all you are not going to find the the lengthy you know numericals it is all theoretical there can be some numericals like find eoq and all which would be very easy i'm going to teach that in my course so don't worry at all just join the sebi grade a 2020 course if you want to crack this exam if you are motivated that yes this is the thing you want to achieve this is the job you want to get there are many students who are uh, uh, assistant managers managers at sbi or like uh, uh, public sector bank they are still appearing for sebi grade a because it's a dream job for many right working at a regulatory organization it is a dream for many actually right so i'll help you to achieve this dream last year i helped nine students uh, nine of my students they cracked the exam this year the cut off is just 
last it was way beyond 40% the cutoff is just 40% for both phases it is not that difficult i repeat it is not that difficult that's all for today subscribe my channel follow me on telegram if there is any doubt you can always reach me on my telegram channel i'll be sharing this uh, the this pdf uh, pdf for this lecture on my telegram channel you can get uh, you can download this from my telegram channel so that's all for today students thank you and have a very nice day bye